Hello, and welcome back to the TAPD demo series. I'm Hannah with Lightning Labs, and this is a series of short demo videos walking through using the Taproot Assets daemon, TAPD, and we walk through that from install to mint to transfer all the way through to burning of assets. In this video, we are installing TAPD once again, but this time via LitD and from source. If you'd like to take a look at how to install LitD from binary, you can check out uh, the speed run video where Leo demos that whole process and I'll link to that in the video description. But here we're going to install uh, LitD on this uh, Ubuntu server which is running um, Bitcoin D on the testnet. So that's what we currently have running. And we will use here my favorite command um, to see what's currently happening on this machine. You can see all that's really running right now um, is Bitcoin D. Uh, so that's cool. That's where we're starting from. We're installing lit D and we're going to install it and run it in integrated mode which means we're not just installing the Lightning Terminal daemon. We have LND, Loop, Pool, Faraday, and TAPD all being installed at the same time, which is awesome. So we'll get right into doing that, uh, but we'll note a couple of prerequisites here. Um, to do this uh, in this fashion, install from source, you do have to have a pretty recent version of Go on your computer as well as pretty recent versions of Node.js and Yarn. I will not walk you through how to install that. The internet is full of tutorials on that one. And of course, your favorite AI assistant can probably help you with that uh, too if you're not familiar. All right, so assuming that you already have that installed on your computer, the first thing we'll want to do is clone the repo. So here's the repo here, github.com slash lightning lab slash lightning dash terminal dot git. We're gonna clone that quick and easy. We'll head on in there and we're going to check out uh, the latest version. As of recording, this is our latest version. So we're going to check that out and then we'll run our usual make install command and we'll fast forward this part for you. Okay, and we are done. Um, that only took a few minutes, but it installed quite a lot. We installed the binaries for all the things, LND, TAPD, loop, pool, Faraday, all the stuff. But if we also want to use the CLIs, then we're gonna run one more command to go ahead and install those. Okay, we now also have the CLIs installed. Um, and before we start up LitD, let's go ahead and create a config file. So again, let's go back out here to the Ubuntu home directory. I'm gonna make a directory, call it dot lit. That's what we'll do. Then we're going to create a config file, lit.conf. Excellent. So I'm going to paste some config items in here and let's talk through them. All right. Um, we're noting again that we're running in integrated mode, right? So we don't have to tell Lightning Terminal how to talk to LND because it's running together with it. Um, we set a UI password. We're not going to demo using the UI here. Uh, we'll just add that for good measure. Obviously, if you're doing this somewhere, please use a much, much better password. Um, we're noting that we're running on testnet here. That we're using Bitcoin. Our back end is Bitcoin D. We'll talk in a sec about Neutrino. Um, we're telling it how to talk to Bitcoin. Say, hey, you know, here's where it is. This is our RPC user. This is our Bitcoin DRPC password. Again, obviously don't broadcast this to the internet. This is just a demo video, it's fine. Uh, but in general, don't do that. Um, here's how we're telling um, LitD how to get information from Bitcoin D. And let's talk a little bit about these two config items, which are just a favorite of mine. When we set up our wallet, we're gonna create this um, wallet password file, and then we're gonna enable this um, uh, unlocking. Uh, so if um, you know the server should restart for some reason at 2 a.m. Um, 
when LND starts up, it'll be able to unlock um, that wallet and continue uh, doing its business. All right. So also, if we were going to run in, say, neutrino mode, then we would add a couple of more config items, which might look something like this. Of course, we would remove a lot of these Bitcoin D config items, but we'd have to tell lit D that we'd be running in neutrino mode. We might want to do this, like pass it in some information to tell um, to help Neutrino um, get fee information, et cetera. We won't go too much in depth on Neutrino here. Again, you can go have a look um, at the speed run video that we did where Leo um, walks through some more information on that. But just so you know, you got options on the back end, um, the Bitcoin node and how to run that. All right. So we're going to save that file. Um, and what I've done here is I have um, two tabs open. I'm logged into the same server on two different tabs. I'm going to run lit D in one, and then in the other one, run some commands to uh, set up that LND wallet. But first, we want to create this wallet um, password and password file. So we're going to use this command, this open SSL command, to generate um, a number for us um, to just use as our wallet uh, password. So we're going to go there. Then we're going to have um, a look at it. Cool. And again, of course, you don't normally broadcast this to the internet, right? This is an unusual case because it's a demo video. Otherwise, you definitely want to keep this to yourself. All right, so we've created that wallet password file that has our password in it. Um, we're going to copy this password and then use this when setting up an LND wallet. So we'll come over in this tab and start up LitD. And of course, the first thing it does is say, hey, I don't have a wallet. Can you create that for us? So LNCLI, E-A-T-E, -E. boom. All right, it's asking for that password. I'll do that and give it to it, um, and we'll generate a new seed. We're not going to add another passcode there. All right, so awesome. Again, here is our seed. This is very, very important. Also very, very important to not broadcast to the internet. You'd want to um, record that in a very safe place as a part of your LND backup process. But if we look over here, we now have uh, LitD running, and uh, you know I. I personally am a big fan of system D, so things aren't properly installed for me until there's a system D service file and that's up and running and working. So we'll do that in a second. But first, we just want to confirm that things are running the way we expected they're running, that we have properly installed things. So once again, use my favorite command here. I don't have to enter a very long and annoying password. But excellent. That's exactly what we're expecting. So that's some good news. And then we'll run um, a couple of CLI commands um, just to double check that things are running the way in which we expect them to be running. As I run these commands, please note that I'm using some flags on some of them, and you may need to as well, perhaps telling it um, you know, which network you're running on, testnet or mainnet, a few other things, maybe pointing to a TLS search. Just keep that in mind in case you get any unexpected behavior. You might want to add a flag or two to fix that up. So we just run lit CLI status, can see some information on what's running, LND is running, what else we have, Taproot Assets is running, excellent, that's what we would expect. So then we should be able to run this command, I'm just going to go LN CLI, so this is the LND CLI, um, and I just want to get info um, on that. And here we can go, excellent. This is what we would expect. Uh, we're still syncing to graph, but we are synced to chain, and we're running on the test net. So that's what we expect. That's excellent. Okay, so let's run one more, this time a taproot assets uh, CLI, so tap CLI, um, just to make sure taproot assets is responding to us. We're just going to ask it, hey, what kind of assets do we currently have? And no surprise, it's going to tell us, hey, currently uh, we have no assets. All right, but everything is running like we would expect, so we're just going to stop the LitD process, then head over um, into the guts of our Ubuntu machine and set up a systemd file. 
So let's do that. Okay, so here we are in the guts of the machine. We got to use sudo down here. We are going to um, create a new file and we're going to name it, we'll just go with uh, litd.service. Awesome. Let's copy and paste my file in here. Copy and paste. All right, so most of this is pretty normal stuff, right? Here's just the description. We're noting that it requires Bitcoin D. We want to start after Bitcoin D. One thing I did add here is this command. So I'm not just pointing it to the binary. I'm adding that command there as well. Um, this is being run by Ubuntu and we have our normal stuff, restart, always, multi-user target, et cetera, et cetera. Cool. So let's go ahead and save that file. Then we will need to enable this. Cool. And we'll want to uh, reload so that our system is aware of these changes. Now, let's try to start it. Okay. Now let's see what happens with status. Awesome, that's what we're hoping for. Then once again, we'll run our command to see what's happening on our machine. And again, that's exactly what we would expect. So that is all great news. Um, just for fun, let's go ahead and run a couple more uh, tap CLI commands. So on this one, we're just gonna ask it to please uh, list for us the universes that it's connected to. So we can see universe uh, federation list. And there we go, we have our standard default universe. And now we'll try connecting to Leo's testnet universe and then see if we're able to list that out as well. Just to confirm things are working as we would expect. All right, listing universes again. We can see we're connected to the default universe and we're connected to Leo's universe. Awesome, so there you go. We have installed uh, TAPD once again, this time using LitD as always. If you have any questions, check out the docs at docs.lightning.engineering or come hang out with us on the Slack channel. See you next time.